Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel genome virus study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos i am going to start the tutorial on how to make the kagg pathway map but before constructing this map it is very important to dig out or find out the pathway id and the genes that you want to show in that pathway uh, of that uh, idea of that gene because this KAGG pathway map cannot be constructed without their specific IDs so in this way so for example this is the biosynthesis pathway I am for example working on a flavonoid biosynthesis pathway so I want to show that where my gene is work so for here I am showing that this my gene is working here but this gene by showing this pathway and this gene we need a specific ID that related to the pathway and ID so in this tutorial I will show you that how we can construct uh, how we dig out that ID because by constructing such type of pathway map and showing our genes we need the specific IDs because each pathway has its own specific ID and the gene is also have its specific ID related to pathway. These genes and pathway IDs are specified for the specific map. How to find the ID for our gene, our own gene? Let's start. For example, these are my genes and these are their protein sequences so I want to know that I know the pathway that they are related to the uh, flavonoid uh, pathway but where it is works uh, how I show it so how we do that like this so we need the protein sequences of our genes and then you need to go to the google write eggnog mapper and open this link and then here is uh, the option that which type of sequence you are uploading either genomic uh, cds or protein and from here you can choose the file of your sequences and from here you can give the email of your id and then click on submit when you click on submit so it will send you the email on your email address and in that email there is a link so you will click on that link i i am showing you so in your inbox the eggnog mapper email will come and then you will open that email and then click on this click to manage your job when you click on it new window appears so here is the job status is ready and here are the information about that your sequence and number of sequences and length are like this and then it click on start job so it will automatically start and here a status change from ready to started and it will take about two or three minutes depends upon the number of sequences and also the length of your sequences when the analysis is finished so the status change from started to done now click on here access your job file here click on it and then download this file out.emapper.annotation click on it this one this is the fourth number file click on it and then save it into your destination folder Now open the TV tool, go to go and KEGG here eggnog map helper and drag that file that you have downloaded from eggnog mapper site and drag it here that in this box input eggnog mapper and here give the output directory where you want to save your results and then click on start. Congratulations extract info finished okay so cross it and we need only this file 
that out dot e mapper dot annotations dot k e g g underscore k num open this and here it gives the our genes the, where they are located and uh, their k id this is the k id so copy this k id open excel sheet paste your k id and now we need to uh, delete the duplicate where here some have the duplicated ids so go to the data select go to the data and here remove duplication no we only need to delete from here this column so this is the d column okay so now copy and we need this in transpose format so uh, transpose and copy this go to browser and open this keg.jp.keg.ko.html you can also find the link in the video description so here you can paste your kids and then click on map pathway So here it gives some information about the pathways and then you need to click on bright and here are the enzymes and also kg orthologs so i know that my genes are related to enzymes so i click on enzyme you can also click here i will show you later and now here are the function of my enzymes so i know that my uh, gene or uh, enzyme is related to if7 mat and here are the augmentin comoral transferase if if7 mat as of 7 glucoside so this is my uh, gene function and this is uh, other genes other so i my gene is related to this function so i click on here k here are the here are the given the enzyme functions so i know the function of my gene so uh, click on that red one k one three two six four because this is related to my a uh, genes function click on it so here are the information about uh, your uh, genes and the pathways <coughs> that our gene is related to these two pathways and these are the number of pathway one is related to isoflavonoid biosynthesis another one is flavon and flavonol biosynthesis and when you drag down so here are the genes these are the genes and these are the gene ids and these are the gene ids in different crops like if you are working on glycine max so you use these two ids if you are working on uh, glycine soja soja uh, you can also click on by clicking here get the information of this so here you see that this is the organism glycine soja if you are working on it, it so you can uh, take the ids this type of id if you are working on cajunus cajus this is cajunus cajun organism then you can take uh, this id how so these are the ids of different organism but these are related to these genes and this is the pathway id but now how to write these ids so here you can write that this is the pathway id that map00943 related to isoflavonoids and map00944 related to flavon and flavonol by so you can check both so here you can write map double zero nine four three and another one is map double zero nine four four now we take the ids for example i am working on glycine max so i will take these two ids 
so here from here you can copy and paste special text paste here x and also copy this gene id copy a special and text so now one thing remember this is a very important so you must keep in mind that if you are using the glycine max ids then here that map you must write this name that is here shown here gmx in before the pathway id gmx must remember this keep in mind and I, these ids are re, re, remain the same if you are working on glycine soja you copy these two ids and then at the start of that pathway number instead of gmx gmx you must write gsj so in this way you can take the ids of your genes for pathway constructing so in the next video i will show you that how we use these ids to construct the kagg map and also uh, for constructing the map we also need the expression of our gene that you can take it from rna uh, seq data or uh, qrt or whatsoever now if we check the uh, kagg orthology so you can also click on it and it will also lead you the same direction and then it, it gives information about the pathway that is a phenyl propanoid and this is a uh, enzyme or gene function this is the pathway and this is the gene function this is the pathway and this is the gene function so you will select according to your gene that you must know that your gene function is this and it is related to this uh, pathway so then you can take the id of that pathway and the gene id and then you can use it in constructing the kagg map so in this way you can i get the ids so hopefully this video will help you if you have any query you can comment please don't forget to like comment and share thank you